And now to our border report. The Drug Enforcement Administration has published its annual National Drug Threat Assessment. The DEA says fentanyl and other synthetic drugs continue to pose a major threat to Americans. It also alleges the Mexican drug cartels are expanding their reach into American communities. Border Report's Julian Resendez talked to security experts about what this means and joins us now in studio. Julian, I understand the El Paso region is mentioned in this analysis. What more can you tell us? Andy, the drug cartels are becoming more powerful because of the profits from the sale of synthetic drugs like fentanyl and meth. They bring those drugs across border cities, including El Paso, and they hire American partners to transport and sell those drugs. The map on the screen shows you Texas is one of the states where the cartels have the heaviest presence in the United States. The report says some cartels also claim to have appropriated certain border crossings to bring their drugs into the country. El Paso's Isleta port of entry is mentioned as a priority target for the Sinaloa cartel to bring its drugs across. Yeah, and Julian, looking at this, it's a very comprehensive report. Maybe what in there surprised you the most? Andy, I'm not so much surprised as concerned by some of the warnings posted in the DEA's National Drug Threat Assessment for 2024. Fentanyl and meth are made with chemicals imported from China. It's very troubling that the cartels are still able to use Mexican ports to receive those chemicals and that they operate industrial-sized laboratories in Mexico. Here in the United States, these criminal organizations are now trying to infiltrate the club and party scene with cool drugs like Tusi. This is a mixture of pink cocaine, meth, and ketamine, which is a very powerful anesthetic. Border Report, Julian Resendez breaking this all down for us. Julian, thank you very much. And you can read more on Julian's report by visiting borderreport.com.